Solve for x satisfying this equation. Shall we do? Firstly, inspection. Look, the denominators are three nice numbers. 2024, 2025, and 2026. What about the numerators? x minus hmm, some number. And this number is also very nice. Why? Because you can find out that 4051 is just the sum of 2025 and 2026. 4050 is the sum of these two numbers, 2024 and 2026, while 4049 is the sum of 2024 and 2025. So, what we can do is to generalize this equation. If we let 2024 be equal to A, 2025 is B, 2026 is C, where A, B, C are positive numbers, then what we can get is this equation. Since 4051 is the sum of B and C, so it is X minus B minus C over A. What about this one? It is X minus A minus C over B. This one, it is X minus A minus B over C. Isn't that equals 3? Now, what shall we do? Now pay attention. The point is, if we have A on the denominator, then we do not have A on the numerator. If we have B on the denominator, then no B on the numerator. C on the denominator, no C on the numerator. So it's not so nice because x minus b minus c, x minus a minus c, x minus a minus b is kind of symmetric. However, what we like is the sum of a and b and c. So we hope that we can get x minus a minus b minus c. This is what we desire to have on the numerators. So how can we do that? Don't worry. What you only need to do is subtract 1 here, subtract 1 here, subtract 1 here. So in total, you subtracted 3 from the left hand side and subtract 3 from the right hand side. And this new equation is equivalent to the equation in blue. So now, x minus b minus c over a minus 1, it is just x minus b minus c minus a. This is what we have on the numerator, over a. Plus, this is x minus a minus c minus b over b. Plus, x minus a minus b minus c over c. Our right hand side is 3 minus 3 is 0. Very good. Now you can notice that our new numerators are the same thing. Because each of our numerators have the same form. You just subtract a, b, and c simultaneously from x. And they're, of course, obviously, evidently the same thing. They just have different orders. However, they're the same. x minus a minus b minus c. So what we can do here, of course, we can take out the numerator. It is x minus a minus b minus c, isn't it? Then times, here we have 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c. This is 0. Since a, b, and c are positive numbers, because in our this problem, they're just 124, 125, and 126. So this part is greater than zero. Or if a, b, and c are simultaneously negative, then it is less than zero. So if we have a product of two terms, which is equal to zero, and one of them is not equal to zero, so what does it imply? It implies that our this factor 
has to be equal to zero. And x is just a plus b plus c. You know, this problem, a is 2024, b is 2025, c is 2026. You just add them together. And what is x? Value of x is just, it is actually an arithmetic progression. So it is three times 2025 and it is 6,075. And this is our value. Do you get it? Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to me for more wonderful questions. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.